going away to Halifax. We've had good starts to games before. And where does this one compare? No, look, uh, we started really well. We should have gone 1-0 before we, uh, we actually did score a goal. Um, but now, look, we, we're aggressive. We're playing in the front foot. And look, one or two things went our way tonight and we got the goal that we needed to. But possibly the same story at the weekend if that had been the case. You said that, somebody said at half time that maybe 20 minutes in, performance wasn't too different to some of our recent performances, no. except for the scoreline. No, 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 look, uh, you read things after the game, dreadful, um, etc. But people see a result and not the performance. And performance has been not too bad. Um, look, three defeats on the bounce, it's something that hurt the group, hurt us all. Um, but <clears throat> we took it, uh, there's a lot of things been said. And fair play to the lads bit of a misfit situation with us at the minute, bodies coming from everywhere and patching ourselves patching ourselves up. But fair play to the group that's in there, they gave absolutely everything for this football club. You mentioned the new bodies coming in, one of them gold on Mateo, his first start today, set up your Angus's goal as well. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, look, uh, we knew what was coming in um, from looking at him, um, scouting him before he, he, he arrived. And look, he had, he had a massive impact, he's a, he's a big, strong, physical lad and he gives us that platform that we probably possibly, well, we have missed since Kwame got his injury. Obviously, one player we can't avoid talking about, Jordan Davis. Just how good is he today? Yeah, look, um, just not, not so much his goals. I thought his overall play, he was arriving on first balls, second balls, and he was, he was taking the space when he was there for him, he was driving into And look, it's, it's his first full season. He, he had his time with us, went out to Bangor, and played men's football. But then, look, I'm a mass, not a massive fan of 23's football. Um, he's gone into it, right, he got the an opportunity to go to that level. Um, got swallowed up in it. Early part of the season, he was still trying to play it a little bit, but now he's got accustomed to what this league's about and he'll have a massive future ahead of him and performances like that, he's gradually getting stronger. But it's also just being aware of him, where he is. He's never played this many games. So he's just being aware of him, making sure he, he's, he's being honest, how he feels within himself and he's not flagged up any time this year. But he was absolutely outstanding today. It's going to be hard to drag him off the pitch. When oh yeah, look, oh, look. Like he, the, the one from the edge of the box, that's his left foot. He's got that in him. Um, he's doing his bits of detail on set plays and uh, as I said, he's, he's breaking forward and getting the others. You mentioned the set play too, how pleasing was it to get a goal from a corner? Yeah, look, league? he's always pleasing, we work on them, um, we've well drilled on them, people know the roles and responsibilities, so when they come off, you're happy with them. Yeah, the other end of the pitch, second half Halifax did come out at us, but the defence has stood firm and a much needed clean sheet. Yeah, team. look, um, we pride ourselves on clean sheets. Um, <clears throat> as I said, it was disappointing at the weekend, there were sloppy goals, there were very, very sloppy goals and we played our part in off rhythm. That's the, the biggest thing that hurt us. Um, so to get it back tonight, um, obviously we restricted them to long, long distance shots. Look, the kid got hold of one unbelievable strike um, at the underside of the crossbar. Um, yeah, but look, as I said, to restrict them from long distance, it takes a special kind of strike to go past Dibs, and I thought Dibs deserved his clean sheet. Um, kicked it well, come and, come and punched it well when you need to. How important is Sean Pearson's return to that defensive performance? Sean's massive. Um, <clears throat> it's, again, it's, it's again something we've got to measure with Sean. We have to be careful at the minute. Um, we'll patch him up, get him going again. It's, uh, we've got a few days now for a turnover. Um, as long as there's no reaction to him today, it puts itself about above Saturday. And then on the back end of Saturday, we've got seven days for him to settle down. One of your guiding messages throughout this sort of topsy turvy season has been never too high, never too low. Yeah. How would you keep the players grounded now? Ahead we do, because look, we just deal with it. As I said, when we were going, we we're on a good run and we were in a good position, we had momentum behind us. We didn't get carried away of it, we stayed level ahead. That's what we speak about within our, our four walls. And then on the back end of the last three results, the positives were some of the performances. The point that we moved it from on Saturday, probably the best we have this season. But as I said, um, people see a result. And we look, we don't we look at the performances. Yes, we disappointed on the result, but we disappointed on the three goals that we, we gave away. How was the body count for Saturday? What sort of options are you looking at for the weekend? Well, as it stands, we got um, everybody. Jay's back available um, for the weekend. Um, Phil, it's going to be he's not going to be available at the weekend. He's still suffering with symptoms. So, as I said after the game at the weekend, that, that's the big thing disappointing for me. Um, we both go down to ten men. Their players back, contributing for them at the weekend and back again tonight. And our player, who's had to be carried off, stretched off, he's still out. We've had to, have a, we've had a, to reassure the lad, just to make sure he's had a CT scan yesterday. It's come back clear. So he's, he's still having a little dizzy spells and a bit of sickness. So he, he's still not going to be available for a bit. And how big a loss is Theo at the back? Look, within seven days, we've lost the spine of a football team. We lost Rob, we lost Theo, we've lost Jay, and we've lost Kwame. So there was a lot taken without the group. We still had decent performances without them. Point on the goals, I said, look, I'm not glossing over any, um, any defeat, 3 0 defeat, it's not good enough, no matter who it is, even if it's one of the biggest spenders in the division, it's not good enough for us. We were disappointed the way that we could lost the game um, on the goals, 
but um, as I said, we've, there's a lot being dragged out of the team in seven days. On the back end of that, we've uh, we took a step back, uh, closed ranks again. Spoke about it the last few days, got out of the system, and um, well, we got what we deserved tonight. So with all that in mind, just where does this performance rank in terms of importance? Yeah. Massive, because um, if we'd lost tonight, um, there's been a decent gap between us and the bottom place of the playoffs. We got into the game, something said to the players. We, we tucked in. Yes, we're not happy with the last um, three results, but we're three points off the playoffs. We're giving ourselves a chance. We're right in the mix. We're on a 10-game season. We spoke about it earlier. What's happened before? It's all done now. We're looking at the last 10 games. Now we've got nine games left, so we've got a difficult game at the weekend at Walking. We'll patch ourselves up. We'll go again at the weekend. Thanks, thank you.